Joining me live now is Suzanne Andrews. She's the Chief Executive of the Yarrabah Local Health Service. Thanks so much for your time. How is it working for you? What are the positives? Good morning. Uh, the, the very positive part of that is health, Aboriginal health in Aboriginal hands, a community control health led organisation that delivers care to the mob of Yarrabah and is driven driven by local community mob. So this has been kind of derided by some in the no camp of just being a Canberra voice and this uh, voice that we're all asked to vote on on the 14th of October will just be, you know, another layer of bureaucracy. But that's not your lived experience, is it? That, that's correct. Definitely not, not a lived experience here in Yarraba where we work and live. Uh, you know, if we have this voice at that highest level that we could uh, we could go to to advocate on our behalf in regards to funding or policy change, uh, that's a big tick for us. In the meantime, or before this happens, we normally have to travel to Canberra or we're constantly on the phone or, you know, trying to put up business um, briefs to Canberra to for our needs and infrastructure needs here in Yarraba. But having this voice will definitely elevate our voice at that highest level. Yeah, so how does the voice, as it's operating for you there, work now? So in Yarraba, we have a collective of local mob uh, that's leading the strategic direction of Yarraba in uh, health, education, uh, law and order, economic development, jobs. Uh, you know, we come up with our solutions as to what we want. Um, however, we are constantly having to meet in Canberra or Brisbane to have our voices heard. We have this elevated voice at the highest level. We will be, we'll be able to go straight to that voice and and get our get our um, needs and wants heard in here in Yarrabah. And Suzanne, why do you think it's been so effective in bringing the suicide rate down? Well, look, uh, Gurney is thirty years old. Twenty five years of that thirty years, our local leaders and our elders have been advocating for a community controlled health service in Yarrabah. That's how long it's taken. And it's a voice from Yarraba that's been asking us, why does it have to take that long? 2014, the state government, you know, clicked the button, the green, the left, the green light on community control, and we transitioned from a, a government health service to a community control, control health service. And look, we haven't looked back, and the, the data talks for itself. So this is about community control. So what would you say to millions of Australians who are going to vote on this voice referendum. What would you say to them today? I'm asking for wider Australia, come on board with the yes vote. I'm asking that you think about when you're at the, when you're at the voting booth, that you think about what is good for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island people, First Nations people of this country. And it is definitely a yes vote and allowing us to have a voice at this level and I'm asking for the country to come on board with this. Well, we're about to go into a six week campaign and yours is a very important voice, Suzanne. We thank you for your time this morning. Thank you.